Hey guys, so before we get started on our soil, which is being dropped off today, some lovely mushroom compost for our garden, I wanted to let you in on a little secret that will save you a ton of money in the long run and your plants will thank you for it. And that is a Google culture. A Google culture. Google culture. Google culture. Come with me, let's check it out. started on this bed right here. There's a lovely bunch of fallen trees right down the road from our house that we've been collecting some twigs and sticks and some bigger logs that we haven't added in there yet. Now let me tell you a little bit about the Google culture. It stands for mound or hill and that is a loosely used term because it doesn't necessarily have to be made into a hill. Some people will do this and then top their soil off and not even have it in a box but you can do it right here in your raised beds. What you do, you're gonna fill this with basically anything that you would use for compost. You can use anything like grass clippings or shavings, leaves, things that you're gonna bag up and throw away later that you see somebody else is gonna bag up from their yard and throw away. Toss them on in here and then top it off with your compost that's already made or your soil or your potting soil, whatever you wanna plant in and it's going to save you a ton of money. Here's why going to keep your plants nice and happy. You can use fertilizer still if you'd like, but there's no need to. It's going to act as a natural compost as these twigs and sticks and fruits and veggies and anything that you stick in there decompose. They're going to be releasing all that nutrients that your plants want underneath. And they're going to keep that bed nice and warm, so it's actually going to elongate your harvest time, your grow time. When it starts to get a little colder wherever you are, it will keep your beds warmer because of everything decaying at the bottom. Now you can see I've got some planks in here of wood that's been cut. These are not treated. I wanted to show you guys this bed though because of how big it is. This is where this is going to make a huge difference. Once we fill this about halfway with all those sticks and twigs next to our house, that's going to be half the amount of soil and just as good for our plants huge money saver. Now I wanted to show you inside this bed because we've already put down a liner underneath to kill the grass that you can kind of see growing over there on the side. Now we didn't do that inside this bed right here. We kind of want to test out the water. Some people mulch it I've, I've seen and then some people can do this and some people don't do anything at all. So I want to see what uh, is the best. Now in your compost I also want to point out that you don't want to put in weeds and things that have already gone to seed unless you want those growing in your uh, raised beds. I hope you guys learned from this video and that you will try it out just like we are. I'll keep you updated as soon as we get our soil on top of here we will start planting and I'll take you along with us on that process as well. I'm going to leave a link down below to where you can read all about a Google culture as well as a link to my Etsy page because don't forget I am still DIYing and I would love to make something for you. Check it out guys and have a great summer. Doing just the traditional hill or mound here. My wasp needs to stay away from me. Piled up. Maybe their garden. Why can't I just work? Soil, I'm going to let you guys... Really, man? Of course, man. <laughs>